Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is Career Mode, and it's episode... It's not Career Mode. It's All Rounder. <laughs> had you fueled there for a second, didn't I? Oh, no, I had myself fooled there for a second. For you know what you were oh, looking at. You know what you clicked on. Anyway, it's All Rounder. It's episode number 34. And we just attacked kind of late in the stage here, but not too late. And I'm going to go ahead and sit up now. And the reason now for the, the attack was we just went through the one and only KOM classification of the day. And there were three riders away, but as they made their way up this climb, one of those riders became too fatigued, was dropped by the group, was caught by the peloton. And so I went ahead and went and claimed that single point to help me in my chase for that jersey. It only gives me a 12, so we're long long ways from uh, being secure in that this is the tour of turkey and in this race there are six stages in all this is the third stage and we hold on to There's a 45 no second a lead Between over the, the pack i'm not pack. even riding the that hard is so, not to everybody's liking uh, the peloton has it's not a significant gap speed. but i might as well make my way up to these two in front of me just with a simple simple speed up looks like two teammates make life uh, easier I could just sit on 75 in the peloton giving chase but they're only 43 seconds behind so they are pretty likely to catch us I do have a minus three on the day so that's not helping the pack is slowly whittling away but those guys will continue to work The pack is yeah, 29 its seconds. Rate. Some teams can't be happy with okay, the break one rate. attacking. That makes perfect sense under the circumstances. Whoa, there's an attack from inside the break but there's rate. the peloton. Back into it without uh, having expended much energy. The objective for the day was to work. We already got that to the exceptional level. We sit in sixth overall as the sixth and final rider who has gained time and hung on and not been eliminated from the peloton. We're down to 77, so there are some riders that have been eliminated today. We have just that one rider left away. He's got 38 seconds, so he's pulled out pretty good. We're not really chasing that hard, to be honest. But I think the pace just lifted over the top there, and yes, it has. Now we're coming back at him pretty quick. 13 seconds, 9k to go. Break over. I doubt he's going to get dropped this late on, though. 6k. Time to gel up. We'll go for our best finish on the stage possible. 5k. Really, there not that big of a pace. We're seeing left. a little acceleration at the front, though. So I'm going to start my own little acceleration. There's Havoc. He's in eighth. He, he's done pretty well in the sprint, but he hasn't gotten anywhere near sniffing a podium. All right, under three kilometers, so it's definitely time to accelerate. We're seeing quality leadouts here. Uh, you know what? Deg and Cole might be a good one to follow. And the final sprint <laughs> is off. Who's going to be the first of the line today? All right, sprint our way to the line. Havoc's definitely ahead of me. Uh, it's not a bad finish. It's going to be a top 10, and it's not Deg and Cole for the win. Stop. It's Koish. Really paid off, and their sprinter brings Alicelli. Deg and Cole, but only fourth for him. Havoc, fifth. I take 11th. Oh, I just missed the top 10. The riders bringing up their rear have made it through sheer willpower. Position should still be relatively effort. secure in the overall. KOM will definitely still be secure. It's a breakaway day. Another minus two. That Venus Peak ends and they absolutely just destroy me. Now for three successive days. He moves on to the attack. There's no real sense to it. Objective but is to be in the break, so. We take off early. This is always the best way to get into a break. Doesn't always work, but we pull out 30 seconds immediately, and actually we stretch that to 45 by the time we settle down from our sprint. Maintain pace for a little while, and we've stretched that to a minute now. We have two riders chasing. They're only 10 seconds away, so they should be making contact pretty soon with me. Wallace is one of them. The other one's still 10 seconds behind. Looks like he's dropped off a bit, struggling to keep up. Nobody else is attacking right now, so we're out to a minute and a There's half. A Peloton not chasing too hard. To I'm not too upset by the rider behind us struggling. 
main reason is all I care about today, besides the team objective, is this Category 3 climb coming up. Payer is the other one who has joined us. Now we have additional riders that are, are coming on, and I don't want them to make contact before that climb. So uh, we have a minute and a half over them. We have two and a half over the field. Havoc on a plus four today, but today's a punchy finish. He's a sprinter, so it's going to probably be a challenge. He's not exactly a, a high average rider either, so we don't know for sure. These guys are not working with me at the moment, which is ridiculous. Are they going to work with me? Uh -oh, the climb the itself is now, is now done, essentially. We're the 5k from the finish, but we are already at the elevation we need. I don't want those last two to catch us before this. At least I'm guaranteed a point. And we'll recover energy after, but these guys are not working with me at all. We're now four, th four and a half minutes ahead of the peloton, so they, they are not interested in chasing, which is good for me. Two and a half K to go. I cannot attack just yet. I've got to be ready, though. These guys make a move. Got to be ready, got to be ready, got to be ready. We'll get to that 1K and we'll attack. Guardless, okay. Yeah, come on, come on. Get there, get there. Oh, I'm too slow. <laughs> Okay, well, we got second. We got second. That's two more points. That's 14 now. Payer has six, so that was his second time picking up points. He had three already. And now none of us are working. This will allow those two to come back at us. Let's see. How long do they want me in the break today? It's 140 kilometers. That is long. That is definitely long. Uh, let's go ahead and start working. Gap's down to a minute 10. We just lost 20 seconds on that, but we are out to five over the peloton. So uh, these two apparel, I want the other guys to catch us. And I'm fine with that. We'll set up even more. Allow recovery to finally begin. There we go. Now we have a group of five. And we just hit 25% of our objective. Corbiels and Nerleb have joined us. 144k to go. Let's go ahead and speed things up. See you back in a little bit. Alright, so fatigue has really set in for two of us in this group. And so we had a pretty decent gap at two minutes, but we just couldn't hold it. Dwindling. I have recovered ever so slightly by just sitting on instead of riding but that brings us back into the peloton any hope of a decent finish on the stage is now going to come down to just surviving and not getting dropped on this punchy little finish i don't have much energy for that but luckily the pace not so crazy and i've recovered a little bit further so 12k to go we're approaching that finish it's about a three or four kilometer Hill. It's not that bad. It looks like it's right here in town. Here's the 5k to go. So we are coming up on it shortly. All 86 are in the peloton, so the, the, the day has not been close. that bad. The My minus two certainly not helping outside. things. And we've gelled up. It's three and a half k to go. I'm gonna start inching my way forward. Two and a half k to go. And we're starting to go up that hill. 1k to go. Here comes the attack. And he has got the win, I think, locked reach. up. All right, I've got a good position. I will not lose time. He's celebrating, but I don't know if he's won this. That's Dan Martin. Well, Israel Startup Nation. No, he did not win. He took third. He celebrated too early. Uh-oh. We're waiting for the back I get a decent we'll finish out of it. So numerous I, in this difficult race. Time. We've selected the following highlights. Yeah, those hands started to lift, and then they went back down and grabbed those handlebars real quick. Pick up one second for taking third on the sprint point. Picked up two points in the KOM and got maximum for the day. So this will be good. I have slipped to 10th overall as uh, time winnings from various riders continue to uh, 
squeeze their way into it. We've now gained two seconds overall. There's 11 riders that have gained time, but most of them have gained more time than I have. Still have a four-point lead in the KOM with two stages yet to go. Also, I'm just seven points from leveling up now. We only got eight points on the day for all of that. Exceptional, that first, only worth eight points, but we're close, just seven. My main competitor for the KOM has joined me. We're the only two riders away. 52 seconds is the gap currently as we just started the stage. Having that KOM jersey really, really helps things out because it allows me to uh, get that front row start. The jersey wearers always line up front and center. So nice little bonus for getting that. And there are four riders trying to join us. They've bridged the gap. They are 44 seconds away. We are 45 seconds away from them. Uh, he is really not helping me out though. The breakaway has now got over a minute on the pack. Overall, we've pulled out another 20 seconds on the break. We are now six and a half kilometers away from the top of the KOM. I kind of like to stay away. Two-man group it does mean he and I both get three and two, but he's only going to gain one point. I have a four-point advantage over him. So if we can win this climb, I'm going to be in pretty great shape going forward. 30 seconds now, 4K to go. Okay, he is not working. Let's attack now. Let's see what happens. The Entente in the escape group is far from cordial. There are a couple of riders who want to go it alone. Okay, that opens it up to 30 seconds again and allows us plenty of time here to still go. And now he goes. That's more than two minutes separating them. Okay to go to the top. Okay, save your energy. We still have that red bar. Okay, sprint it out. Yes, we got it. We got it. All right. That was a battle all the way over, but we do get through that first. And that gives me now a five point lead. Now, you may have noticed here on stage five, this is the decisive queen stage of this presidential tour of Turkey. It's the one mountain stage that there is. So with that, uh, for one thing, we have a five minute gap over the field at the moment. The breakaway so is nice. not to everybody's liking. Uh, the peloton has to go right into cruise speed. mode, though it's already down to four and a half minutes. So we get ourselves sorted out here. They're coming back pretty dang quick at us, but anyway. Big climb at the finish. 12 points available to the victor, but I have 17 now. So you would expect that Escara, myself, you know, none of us are going to win this. It's it's going to come down to pure climbers. They're going to take it. Somebody's going to gain 12 points. At this point, they shouldn't have any or only a few. So it's going to still give me a decent chance on this KOM jersey. I've got five points to play with. We look at the rankings for this. Logan Owen has six. Nobody else to worry about. Uh, Owen's okay climber, but he's more punchy than mountain climbing. So uh, I think we're looking pretty dang good for having enough points to, you know, whoever's going to take the stage is somebody who does not have points currently. 93 kilometers to go. Uh, we are coming up on a sprint point. I don't think I'm in a, a position to go for this at all. I don't want these seconds. Uh, it's not that I don't want these seconds. It's that I want to be alive at the end of the stage to climb a, and maintain a GC position as best I can. I'm going to get out climbed. No doubt about it. I'm not a climber. Uh, we're going to get that breakaway objective, but I'm going to now get it by sitting on. I'm, I'm done working. Let the field come back at us. It's two minutes. I've, I've already got a decent evaluation. Now 75% and without working. So I'm going to stay fresh. I'll stay ready for the climb. There's no way we're winning from the break. The gap's not big enough. 
one of two or three riders not working at all. Sepulveda also not working. Minute and a half. Down to 50 kilometers. And the whole group attacked me. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. We don't get... Oh, are you kidding me? I had one kilometer to go. <laughs> I had 1k to go. Ay, ay, ay. It's only worth a couple points, but I like that one kilometer. I don't know, depending on the GC position, I gain or lose that much more. But I'm only going to gain something if I at least have a decent GC position. And I do finally have a net zero after three straight days with big negatives on that race day condition. I'm finally okay today. All right, 20k to go. And that breakaway is nearly caught. The remnants of it. Minus, you know, one. Minus one kilometer. There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Here's what I can do. I can go get that kilometer and give myself a advantage. Or not. <laughs> well, that that uh, that did not work out for me. They didn't let me get off the front. Really? I, I'm a 67 mountain. The riders are going through Why didn't they let me get off the front for one kilometer and then let me ride my pace, let them catch back up to me? Havoc's already gone. Let's go ahead and gel up. Uh, 75 is about all I can manage here. Peloton's down to 65 already. And I'm going out the back, so that's 56 riders ahead of me. That's not going to be a strong GC position. Nope, keep going your pace. We're doing a 65 here, or a 75. Make that a 73. Making our way up through the field a little bit here. And let's sit on with this group as we do not have the energy to attack any further. 3k to go still. Okay, coming up on 1k. Dan Martin, Aru. I don't think any of those guys had points, so that's good for me. And I get up to 48th, so we cracked top 50. Definitely lost a big chunk of time. I should be right about 48th in the standings after that. Maybe a spot or two higher. Martin wins clear gap over the rest of the field. Almost a minute ahead of Aru. Just as expected, low 40s. 40 second position, 6 minutes 41 seconds behind. Completely out of contention on the GC. Especially after my move to get <laughs> one kilometer fail. That, that definitely wasted energy for no gain. But... Also, as expected, Martin had no points, so he picks up 12 from zero. So I maintain a five-point lead with just a single stage to go. That KOM might very well be mine. <sighs> so close. Seven points, though. That is exactly enough to level up. So there you go. Access to World Tour Race Tour de France. That is the last unlock here. And a skill point next level is also... Just a skill point. That's cruel. That is really cruel. We are locked in on 300 points still, at least. All the race upgrades are done. So it is time to move into a new category. I'm not worried about discovery. Uh, networking or charisma would be nice. And getting willpower. Uh, there is that chance that at some point we'll know it based on weather or something, and we can overturn it. So I'll go ahead and take that for now. I almost never get an opportunity to use those because we manage the fitness properly. All the way. Five kilometers remaining. It's the final stage. 
Final five kilometers. There's actually still a tiny breakaway at the moment. We're seeing little attacks. It's a little bit punchy, but otherwise it is a sprint finish. And now with two and a half K to go, we're seeing a huge attack before we enter that final kilometer. It's, it's a little out there. Havoc's doing pretty well today, but wow, look at that. Oh, hello. Our lab took it. Last breakaway rider stayed alive. Uh, Koisha only took fourth today. To Havoc took sixth. I took seventh. So good result, both of us in the top 10. GC, we were totally out of it. We were only 42nd. But I do claim the KOM jersey here in the final stage of the race. So that is decided. That's going to come away with some bonus points for us. How many? We'll find out here in just a second. Stay 42nd. There's that KOM win by five points. We get exceptional status on the day working for the teammate, but we get that KOM jersey. That's 27 points. That's not a bad start on our next level. Plus that manager satisfaction is maxed out. Tour de Finisterre to come. Amstel Gold Race to come in the next episode that's going to do it for this one i'm a cathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now